bounce, of course, vigorously, should you wish. Up and down now. I remember one jolly fresh start of the weekend. The fun with my fleshy firm brow was deepened when upon checking out some cruise of electro, I heard a voice that left me vexed. It was the voice of an oaf of a lower caste, but it reminded me of somebody from my past as I know got it at last. This absolute ass came bottom in our Latin class. Timothy St. John Westwood, that was his name. I'm afraid his vocal cords have gone quite lame. His enunciation is enough to disgrace, dropping T's and R's all over the place. This can't be that quiet vicar's son who had awful trouble trying to pick a John when the quick would run and leave him sickly glum. Now he's talking in my radio about dropping bombs. What an earth I'm to Timothy. I was a threat with him, you will see. We used to call him spells. Now he's on air chatting to nails. He was a whiz with a cricket bat. But he never used to talk like that. He didn't though, now he appears to talk like this. Understand, Westwood says, don't write dirty, rhyme big. I nearly spilled my team to my saucer when somebody called you the Millennial Chaucer. Of course you're not, that's my ruddy job. Your grammar's appalling, I do sound like I got a slave treat you A ruddy slob from the people or some such place. When I'm such crazy to me by, that it rhymes and I'm throwing dine. Where you're going rhymes like a crowing clown, a pimping rags for the